Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be giving you some Christmas romance recommendations. Baby, baby. So I finally have read a bunch of Christmas romances where I have enough to recommend to you. You know like I hadn't read enough before this year to like give you good recommendations so I finally read a couple good ones so I'm gonna give you a whole list of them. First we're gonna talk about The Christmas Pact by Vi Keelant and Penelope Ward. This is an audiobook through Audible and you can get it if you have the um, Audible Plus membership. So this is about Riley Kennedy and Kennedy Riley. They have backwards names um, and they work at the same publishing company. And since their names are so similar, their emails kind of get mixed up sometimes. So they have to forward each other the correct emails. The two of them bicker a lot because of this. And so through some means and happenings, uh, they both have to pretend to be like fake dates to their family's gatherings around Christmas time. And they start to realize that they might not actually hate the other person um, and that they actually might be really attracted to the other person. So this was super fun, super entertaining. If you want an amazing holiday novella that is also an audiobook, this one is really fun to listen to. Next I have Santa Baby by Cassie Mint. <laughs> this is a romance between a bar owner and one of his employees. So our heroine in here, her name is Clara. Clara got hired by Jack um, a little bit ago to work at his bar and ever since then she's had a huge crush on him and she doesn't know that Jack also has a crush on her but he's never admitted his feelings because there is a huge age gap between the two of them and he doesn't want to make her uncomfortable. Um, but then on Christmas Eve they end up getting in a position to where they reveal their feelings for one another and it is just a hot hot romance. This book takes place on Christmas and the hero pretends to be Santa for a portion of the book. <laughs> um, so this is super hot, short, fun. This is only like how many pages? It is only 62 pages so another short novella. A few of these are novellas and I feel like novellas are really good for Christmassy hot romances so. Next I have A Warm Hearted Winter by J.R. Ward. This is book number 18.5 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. You have to read it in order though is the thing. So like if you're getting close to book number 18.5 of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series I would recommend this book but if you're not I'm sorry but I think you should probably read the books in order um, or else you might be really confused with some of the characters in here that you've never heard about before. This romance uh, mainly centers around Quinn and Blay who have their own romance book in the previous book but it like revisits their romance. Just by the way the book has a lot of emotional stuff going on as well as some happy cheerful Christmassy stuff going on so just be aware of that. I'm not gonna go too deep in the summary at all because this is number 18.5 in the series but this book is very snowy Christmassy. Everyone in the Black Tiger Brotherhood gets snowed in during a snowstorm during Christmas time and they can't leave the mansion at all. It's full of sweet holiday cheer as well as some emotional kind of stuff so just be aware going in. Next I have Charming the Runaway Duke by Maggie Dallin. This is a closed door romance or you could say clean romance. Nothing ever happens. There's no door to be closed if that makes sense. Like it's just a wholesome sweet romance. So this is about Lady Amelia and she's never met the man that she is in an arranged marriage with. This is also a historical romance by the way. His name is the Duke of Harlow and um, everyone has making, been making rumors that he is the runaway duke and he's been running away from Lady Amelia and so that's everyone's nickname for the duke in high society. But then he ends up disguising himself so no one recognizes him in order to meet Lady Amelia in a more organic way so she's not expecting anything from him. But then Lady Amelia starts to admire the persona that the duke has put on himself and so he has to kind of unravel the mess that he's put himself in as trying to make her fall in love with who he is and not this persona that he has been put on. I thought this was a really sweet historical romance, a solid four star from me. So if you want a more sweet, cute, uh, historical, this one is great to pick up. Next is the book I'm currently reading and yeah, I'm, I'm not even finished with this book and I think it's my favorite, favorite holiday romance ever. It's good. This one is called Stocking Stuffers by Eric McClellan and holy crapola. I love this book so far. This is about Sasha and Perry. Sasha ends up getting stuck in um, a B&B &B overnight because of a snowstorm and there she meets Perry who is the brother to the owner of the bed and, bre bed and breakfast. I can never say that correctly the first time. Bed and breakfast. The two of them are just like, hey, I find you really attractive. Um, how about we spend this time together? We're snowed in being together for a couple of days and so that's what they do and holy cow it is very good <laughs> I'm only like 50% of the way done and 
it's very good i'm not gonna say anything else <laughs> take that for what you will it is good eric mclellan writes some good stuff good stuff good stuff okay next we have kind of like a funny one <laughs> i read this one last year and it was like a three star from me but like i think it's hilarious and it's only 54 pages so if you want to read something for your like goodreads goal why not pick this one up it's called blitzen's faded mate by re butler it's a part of the arctic shifter series and so basically what happens is this woman she's staying in this abandoned cabin in the middle of nowhere like during snowy times during christmas time and she ends up seeing a reindeer fall from the sky and <laughs> crashing in the snow and then the reindeer turns into a man <laughs> And so it's the romance and hot time between the heroine and uh, the reindeer man she rescues from the snow. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's funny. Um, so I, I enjoyed reading this. Next, I have three Ice Planet Barbarian books to mention just really fast. Um, no one thinks of when they think of Ice Planet Barbarians that there's holiday romances incorporated, but there are three. So um, if you don't know about Ice Planet Barbarians, it's an alien romance series that I'm obsessed with if you didn't know. Um, so we have a main book in the series and then we have two novellas that revolve around Christmas. And while they're on this planet, like the original tribe, like the Sakui people, the blue people, don't really understand Christmas. And so they call it No Poison Day because someone told them that, um, they kiss under mistletoe and people thought that mistletoe was poison and long story short they call it no poison day the first one i have to mention is book number five in the ice planet barbarian series which is called ice planet holiday this revisits previous couples that you've met as well as introduces a new couple with claire and um another alien on the planet um i really enjoyed all these by the way um and then we also have twas the night before no poison day <laughs> This is only 15 pages. Uh, you get this novella and the novella that I'm about to talk about. I think they're available on Ruby Dixon's website or her Facebook page because you can't get these two off Kindle Unlimited or Kindle at all or Amazon at all. Um, so that's how you read those. This is number uh, 10.5 in the Ice Home series. It just centered around Christmas. I don't want to talk too much because it is like 15 pages so. And lastly Ruby Dixon also wrote A Gift for Drenel. This is book number 17.1 in the series and this is like a short really really short novella about one of the Sukui human children um trying to befriend the tribe grump um and giving him a gift for christmas and <laughs> so cute i loved this one there's also a book called um barbarian before christmas or by ruby dixon which is a christmas story about my favorite couple so um that one is in there as well for you if you want to check that one out i just remembered that <laughs> next i have two katie wilde books we have secret santa by katie wilde this is about emma and logan and so emma has just been hired on this new i want to say furniture making company the woman she's replacing is about to give birth so she's on there with a temporary position she gets hired around christmas time and they're gonna do a secret santa she thinks that the owner's son like despises her because he's always giving her dirty looks um, where in reality, that's his like smoldering gaze. That's his, like, I'm attracted to you gaze. She thinks that he doesn't like her and she's like baffled as to why, but he actually wants her so badly. And so he may or may not be her secret Santa and being her secret Santa may help him reveal his feelings towards her finally. And oh, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was amazing. Um, I also like this one and the next Katie Robert book that I want to talk about. So All He Wants for Christmas by, uh, Katie Wilde is about Cole. Um, he's a detective and he ends up um, getting shot at and our heroine just so happens to be one of the people who saves him and makes sure he is alive until the paramedics come. And ever since then, he can't stop thinking about the woman who saved him, but he doesn't know how to get in touch with her. And little does he know that that woman is the daughter to the police chief. And the police chief has asked him to kind of keep an eye on her and to protect her a little bit because she's moving into the building that Cole lives in. But he cannot fight the attraction that he has for her and oh they get together it is fun it is hot they're trying to like keep their relationship a little bit of a secret because if the chief found out it would not be good um so this is just a really fun novella it's only 171 pages so if you want a fun katie wilde book this is definitely one to pick up katie wilde i feel like is a great um writer and her writing style is just easily readable <laughs> and lastly i want to talk about one of my most recent Christmas Reads, which is The Naughty List by Ellie Mae McGregor. 
This one is so good. So this is about Kate and she's feeling a little bit down this Christmas. She is recently a single mother. She just got a divorce and her kids are with her ex-husband during Christmas time. But then on Christmas Eve, she ends up falling asleep in front of the Christmas tree and she wakes up to a man looming over her. And that man just so happens to be Santa, but he does not look <laughs> like your stereotypical Santa. He is big, he is buff, um, he has tattoos and he is hot. <laughs> so Santa's name in here, his name is Nikolai. And right when he sees Kate, he knows he wants her for Christmas. And so this is like a fun, hot novella about Kate and Santa getting together. And holy crap, this was so much fun. This is one of the most fun novellas I've ever read. I really love Ellie Mae McGregor's writing style. I feel like it's super fun and easy to read and just very descriptive. I love it. If you were to read any books on this list, I would recommend this one as well as uh, so far stocking stuffers because that one is so good. Anyways, there you have it. Those are quite a few Christmassy related books that I hope you pick up that I recommend for a fun Christmassy time. Um, please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. If you have made it this far into the video, leave me a uh, any kind of snow related emoji. I would love to see it. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great holiday season. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.